Hi, welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a podcast and video series about mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide online valuation, divorce, and mediation services in St. Louis, Missouri. In this week's episode, we will discuss how to be financially prepared for mediation with Karen Shalou. For over 30 years, Karen has worked in the legal field as a paralegal and business manager. She's an affiliate member of the American Bar Association in the Dispute Resolution Committee, and she's a certified quadro administrator. She also owns a company called My Divorce Solutions, which typically includes a team of professionals, uh, including a certified divorce financial analyst, and they develop your financial portrait. And so this is a document that contains financial data that any couple would need in order to make clear decisions for their future. So as a legal liaison and a quadro administrator, she helps support your legal team and facilitate other connections with resources. Amazing background. Welcome, Karen. What are the the first five things or the, the ways that you need to be financially prepared to even enter into mediation um, and, and realistically even litigation, right? That's absolutely true. Um, it's actually entering into the divorce process. Um, getting prepared is critical and you'll never thank yourself enough for taking these steps. So the very first question most people ask is, where do I get the information? Do I have access? So knowing the documents you have access to and why they're important and the documents you don't have access to is the very first step you would take. So we tell a lot of people, you know, start copying bank statements, anything and everything you can find. Really the most critical document you would want to have in hand are your tax returns past three years. They give financial um, advisors so much information and probably the most critical information from which your other account statements will support that. Um, so having access to your financial data and documentation is important. And we find that a lot of couples entering the divorce process, they really um, have an intention of working things out. So if you can start working together with your spouse before things go off the rails, as we say, it's a great time to start um, having that access that you will, will not have once the battle lines are drawn. Well, and I think that most people kind of start thinking about the process of divorce maybe a lot longer before they tell the other person. Absolutely. And so that's when paying attention to the mail becomes important. Paying attention to, um, you know, or asking questions about like, where is the mortgage or where are the car and auto loans? Mm -hmm.